Thank you for watching the National Putting Tour. Please subscribe to this channel for future video updates. Hello everyone, we are here in Scottsdale, Arizona. Putting World is the place. This is the November 2023 Putting World event. The World Putting Tour. Probably the toughest putting tour in the country. Let's get down to the action. This is Jeff Galloway hole one. Jeff a little bit unhappy with that. Here's Justin Purvis hole 17. This is the trickiest little hole in putting. You got to throw it way up on this hill. It hardly ever comes back down where you want it to. There's Jeff McDonald. And then we got Nate Pakoda. Nate has become one of the stars of the World Putting Tour. There's Purvis finishing up, and this guy's saying goodbye. I thought that was never seen anybody wave at the ball like that. That was pretty cool. Here's Alexander Molina, hole 16. Oh, yes. Alexander is in the house. The Swedish putting team is here, and they are rolling them in. Many consider Alexander the best putter under 25 in the world. And he delivers right there. A little Swedish putting team shout out. Here's Ricard Lochner. Just misses here for par. He's still putting pretty good though. He's sitting at around 15th place right now. Here's Hide Yoshihara. Hide has become one of the stars out here on the World Putting Tour. Always in the top 10. Former Division I player for UCLA. Here's Jeff Galloway, hole 17, just leaving it a little bit low. And now we go back to Hide for a nice make. And we go to hole 12. Here's Gunnar Bengston, Swedish putting team. He's just went out of bounds once already, so he's hitting three right here. And you're just praying for this to stop. Hole 12 is one of the toughest holes out here. Here's Jack McDevitt, hole 16. And now we got Jeff Galloway. Jeff. This is a great shot of this one. Jeff. Hole 18, nothing but the bottom of the cup for Mr. Galloway. And now Nate Pakoda leaves it out a little bit to the right, and he knows it. Now let's go to Mike Gonzalez. This hole has just been killing everyone. Mike has already went out of bounds once. A tough hole for him there. And here's some clips of some of the other putters in the field. I don't know everyone's names here. I'm, I'm learning them, but uh, unfortunately these gentlemen here, I don't know their names, but this is a nice putt for this gentleman here. Here's hole one. Hole one always plays difficult. Very easy to run it long on hole one. Now we got a familiar face here, Jeff Gibraltar. Hole number th Here's Alexander Molina. Hole number one. And now we got former WPT champion Andrew Willis. This guy has one of the sweetest strokes out here. Andrew just got a job out in Palm Springs at one of the more prestigious golf courses out there so I don't know how many more tournaments he's going to be playing on the World Putting Tour in 2024. Here's Jeff Kirk, 2022 NPT champion, National Putting Tour champion. Played that nicely off the rough there. And now we got Jack McDevitt. Hole number one. He cozies that down there real nice. Now we got John Weichel, hole six. They try to go off peak, I guess. John playing his trademark blue ball. He's also got the blue shoes to match. And here's Ryan McPherson. Ryan is one of the top McPherson players on the World time. Putting Tour, and he shows McPherson you why time. right there. What a putt for Ryan on hole four. And we're going to be seeing a lot more of that today. Not a good putt. And now Hide Yoshihara on Hide hole four. Hide time. Oh, yes, nice Hide spot. time. And I don't often admit this, but forgive me, I had had a few drinks out there and I kept commenting on everybody's putts, so if you're getting sick of hearing my voice in the background, you have to put up with it. I was a, a little tanked at this one. 
no shocker to the people that know me out there. <laughs> so here's hole six. Hole six played really tough from that pin position, that uh, tee box position. Now here's Mike Gonzalez for par in hole one. And now we got Jeff Galloway, hole number six. Just misses there, That's and now we got Gunnar on hole one. Mr. Bankston just had a, a great showing at the Pop Stroke Tour Championship. Hole number 13 always plays really tough, and now we go to hole 18. Here's Brian Pfeiffer. Do it, son. And then we got Justin Purvis rolling it in hole 7. Oh, yeah. Justin, another one of the top putters on the World Putting Tour. Now we got Alexander Molina taking a very aggressive line here on hole four. Oh, yes. Alexander is getting fired up. If only we could all have as much fun as Alexander has out there. I'm so envious. This guy just loves to putt. Here's Nate Pakoda, hole number five. Great putt. A lot of players were misjudging that putt from that tee box placement. And here's Blake Christensen, hole one. And we got Jeff Galloway, hole number five. Got to play it just a little bit left at the beginning. It kind of shoots it off to the right, and then you let it come back down. And that was just a little bit too hard for Mr. Galloway, but it was right on line. And here's Justin Purvis. Really kept his head down nicely through that putt. Now here's Jeff Gibraltar. And now Ryan McPherson again, and guess what? Another ace for Mr. McPherson. He is flying up that leaderboard. This guy's a veteran of the World Putting Tour and Putting World. And there's Dalton Marsh with a nice make. Dalton Marsh climbing up that leaderboard as well. And now Nate Pakoda with Solid. a tough par putt. Nice par there. Here's Jeff Galloway. Jeff having a good tournament right now. And watch how this crease back towards the hole. Beautiful putt for Jeff. And here's Justin Purvis. Forgive the uh, the shaky camera here. I wanted to kind of show the viewers how much action's going on at one time at these tournaments. It's always good to kind of look around and see what people are doing and try to catch reads off people. At least that's what I do. You can learn a lot about watching the guys in front of you and seeing how they put these holes. And here's Nate Pakota, hole 14. You had to play it way high up off that hill. And now we watch Jeff Galloway. Very tough putt from that spot right there. Now here's hole 13, the legend Jeff McDonald. This guy's played more putting tournaments than anyone in the room. That's a guarantee. He's been doing this a long time. And Jeff having a very good tournament. Now here's former WPT champion Kevin Sundstrom, part of the Swedish putting team. Kevin's had an exceptional year. He's done well at Popstroke, and then he has a, a coveted WPT victory. There's Alexander Molina cleaning up for par, and now we got Scott Spiewak. Scott, another WPT champion, one of the best out here. There's Gunnar, and here's hole 18. Nice make here for Mr. Pakoda. You get some good congratulations from the buddies watching. Now we got Dalton Marsh. That putt is so easy to leave left on hole 9 there. Now this putt from Jeff Galloway, this usually goes dead straight from right here. Let's see how he plays this. And yeah, it was going a little bit right at the end, but pretty straight. There's John Weichel. John having another good tournament. John's got a really funny Instagram page. I think his handle is John Weichel Golf. I've been checking it out. It's really cool. You should go check it out on Instagram. John Weichel Golf. He's a real character. One of the nicest guys out here. And there's Mr. Pakoda with another make. Finally, we see the legend Chris Johnson, one of the best to ever do it. He rolls one in right there and has a laugh with the crowd. And now we got Hide Yoshihara, hole number 11. Just didn't play it high enough there. And now here's Kevin Sundstrom, hole 16. They had the box way up on hole 16 in round three.
And now Jeff Galloway again. He's got this technique down perfect. You just roll it a little bit long, let it come back off the hill. And now Ryan McPherson with a nice par to keep the momentum going. And a good make by Nick Hedman right there. And then Jeff Galloway, he's having a hell of a tournament. Here's Mike Gonzalez. Mike, one of the top national putting tour players, leaves that a little bit low side. Here's Brock Gillespie. Hole 18, oh yes. Hardly made any putts today, but he made that one. Here's Scott Spiewak. Beautiful putt for Scott. And now let's take a look here at Chris Johnson. They have the tee box way up here on hole two. Things are starting to wind down here in the second round. Chris just misses that low side. So that's it for two rounds, guys. Ryan McPherson, commanding lead at minus 14. Hide Yoshihara right there at minus 11. Scott Spiewak and Jacob Stass at minus 10. Dalton Marsh, Adam Breitenbucher, Nate Pakota, Ricky Hurden, J.D. Fernandez, Gunnar Bankston, Chris Johnson, Zach Smith, Scott Scahill, Richard Lochner, Jack McDevitt, Billy Gold, and Casey Barter round off the field. So now let's go to round three. We got Kevin Sundstrom starting us off with a nice birdie there. And here's Gianfranco Guida. Gianfranco famous for his fifth place finish in the MSOP final in 2017 at the stadium. Those of you who didn't get to play in that stadium event, you, you really missed out. It was really cool. I'm sure you've probably heard that enough. There's Jeff Gibraltar, hole 16. Tough putt from that spot right there. And now here's Nathan Strand. Running that one a little bit high side for Nathan. Here's Nick Hedman, hole number one. He's got this on a great line. Man, it looked like that picked up speed on the way down. Ran it a little bit long. And here's Matthias Hagloff. Matthias, one of the top pop stroke putters. Having a little bit of a rough day today, but uh, you know, Matthias is always in the hunt. He could always pop through a really nice round and get right back up there. Here's Jeff McDonald, hole two, and you can see how he rolled it through the rough right there. That is the best way to go at this hole from that tee spot. And here's the legend, Rainy Statham. Always nice to have Rainy in the field. Now you can see Rainy tap in for his par here. And now Gianfranco Guida for par on 18. Oh yeah, just makes it in there. Here's hole number three, Kevin Sundstrom. They got a tee box up way up to the front and to the right. Makes for a very tough hole. Here's Matias Hadgloff. Watch out. Oh, nice break for Matias. Remember, into the rough here is out of bounds. Nothing more discouraging than hitting a putt out of bounds at this course in competitive putting. Here's Kevin Sundstrom, hole number five. He's got this on a really nice line. Just didn't hit it, but nice putt for Kevin there. There's Jeff McDonald tapping in for par on hole six. And now this gentleman here on hole number one. Hole six, they had the tee box up way to the right here, and you had to be really careful. If you tried to go at this hole, you could run it out of bounds, so a lot of guys were just laying up left there. Here's Nate Nichols, come back around hole two, and unfortunately Nate's going to take a bogey there. And here's Richard Herbert. I really like Richard a lot. We've had a lot of conversations over the years. He's gotten better. He's been beating a lot of guys out here. There's a good putt on hole one. Can get the, get the extra four inches? Yeah. On 13? On 
Yeah. And you can see the dangers right here on hole six. This oh, barely creased back into play. And then just when you're thinking that you, you got an easy par, this putting world surface can come back and bite you, and it happens right there. Here's Chris Johnson. Nice putt for par. And now Ricard Lochner. He's got this on a beautiful line. Creeping. Oh, yes. Mr. Lochner is in the house. And here's a nice make on hole 11 for this gentleman. And now Chris Johnson, hole number 12. One of the tougher holes on the course there. And here's Rainey State on hole 6. He's going after this one. Watch out. Ooh, just stays in. And now he'll have this for par. Never a doubt for Rainey. And here's hole 15. I always feel like 15 is one of the easier holes on the course. 14 just the opposite. I feel like that's one of the toughest holes on the course. This gentleman has this on a beautiful line. And now Chris Johnson tidying up for par in hole 12. And now we got Jack McDevitt. And now Jack McDevitt for par. Nice putt for him. Jack having a really good tournament right now. Here's Alexander Molina and tough miss for him. Nice make for that gentleman there. And there's Alexander Molina for bogey. Hardly ever see Alexander miss a comebacker. I was saying that about all the Swedish players. They're very good on making comebackers. They've got a lot of focus. And here's Gunnar Bankston. He's got this on a beautiful line. Nice putt for him. Here's Nate Pakoda. Hole number 12. And now Dalton Marsh. Oh, and Dalton has it rolling. He's climbing up that leaderboard. That gets Dalton in second place. Now here's Jacob Stass. Jacob, another strong tournament for him. And here's Hide Yoshihara. So we're getting now down to the final stretch here. The guys are starting to really grind. Things are getting a little bit tense out here. They're trying to catch Ryan McPherson right now. Ryan McPherson has a commanding lead. And there's Scott Spiewak. Now here's Ryan McPherson, hole seven. Taking an interesting path there, kind of running it past the hole, letting it creep back. When they have that tee box up front right on hole seven, there's just nothing good you can really do other than just don't make a three. And here's Jake Stass, hole 12, has this on a nice line. Oh man, I can't believe that didn't go in. And now Andrew Willis, former WPT champion, hole number 18. Great way to finish for Andrew. Andrew Willis, another strong finish here on the World Putting Tour. Now here's our leader, Ryan McPherson, hole number 12. Oh, pour it in, Rhino. This might be his day. He has got it going and a great point to the camera. And Ryan McPherson's at 21 under. Guys, he is not going to get caught. So there's the rest of the leaderboard. Alexander Molina putting pretty well at minus eight. Now let's get back to the action here. Ryan McPherson, great par save on 14. And now here's him on 15. He doesn't need anything but pars, but you never know. He might still squeak out another birdie. Oh, yes. It is Ryan McPherson time today. This guy has been up at the top of the leaderboard countless times, does not have a victory out here. Probably no one out here deserves it more than this guy. And here's Jacob Stass finishing up. 
and now Scott Spiewak. So as the usual suspects out here at the end, they call themselves the 859 Club. They spent a lot of time out here and it shows these guys are just dominating the world putting tour of late. And now we got our leader, hole 17. Just needs to cozy it up there. And Hide Yoshihara. Another great finish for Hide. And here is Ryan McPherson. What a day for this gentleman here. It's pretty much nothing he can do to lose this putting tournament. We call this a victory lap in the putting world and he has done it. And it's a pure formality. Ryan McPherson wins November's World Putting Tour event. What a great win for him. Probably nobody more deserving than this guy. This guy's putted the lights out for months. And he finally gets what he deserves, a $10,000 paycheck. Some great handshakes from the crowd. And it's official. Ryan McPherson laps the field at minus 24. The next best player was seven strokes back. That was Dalton Marsh and Hide Yoshihara tying for second. Uh, JD Fernandez, Ricky Herdon, Adam Breitenbach are all tied for fourth at minus 15. Gabe Lyson, Gunnar Bankston, Nate Pakoda, Jacob Stass, Scott Spiewak, Chris Johnson, Jack McDevitt, Richard Lochner, Casey Barter, Michael Hopper, Jack Reedy, Andrew Willis, Kevin Sundstrom, Kent Eager and Alexander Molina round off the field. And there he is with friends and family, Ryan McPherson. And here he is with the staff, $10,000 in the bank. And let's hear from Ryan McPherson. All right, what a place. Finally got one. That's awesome. 859 Club, let's go, baby. We got one. Let's do it. Uh, this place is awesome. I love it. I'm here every day almost, and I live 40 minutes away. So. Favorite place to be, and thank you very much to all the staff. Love you guys. It was awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Hard work pays off. Well, thank you guys for watching this presentation of the World Putting Tour. I run the National Putting Tour. This is Brock Gillespie. We'll see you next year.